What does it mean to stand in solidarity with Palestine? And why does this issue resonate with people all around the globe? These are the questions we find ourselves grappling with as the world bears witness to the escalating conflict in Gaza. The Palestine question is one that dates back decades, its roots entangled in a complex history of conflict, displacement and claims of self-determination. It has become a symbol of resistance against occupation, a fight for human rights and a call for justice. In recent times, the situation in Gaza has taken a dire turn. Thousands of lives have been lost, with the death toll continuing to rise. The images of destruction and despair have reverberated across borders, sparking a global outcry. Protests have erupted worldwide, from Washington to Dakar, with demonstrators demanding an immediate ceasefire and calling for an end to the violence. These expressions of solidarity are not confined within the borders of the Middle East, far from it. They have found resonance in the very heart of Europe. Berlin, a city with its own complex history, has become a stage for these expressions of solidarity. On a Saturday, under the grey Berlin sky, hundreds of protesters took to the streets. Their message? Freedom for Palestine. As the day unfolded, the streets of Berlin became a sea of placards, banners and impassioned voices. The protesters, diverse in age and background, marched together, unified in their cause. Among them was Ahmed, a passionate protester who said, We are here to demonstrate for Palestine, and I think it's not only about Palestine. It's also about showing our anger toward the German media and the German politicians. For Ahmed and many others, the protest was not just about a distant conflict, but a demonstration against perceived bias and silence closer to home. As the hours passed, the protest remained peaceful, but the undertone of frustration was palpable. Another protester, Neef, voiced her weariness, stating that people didn't expect to have to protest for so long. Yet she added, It's very hard to hope that something's going to turn over very quickly, but the reason why everybody keeps coming out, the people I know keep coming out, is because we do believe it will change slowly, it will change. The reaction from German authorities, however, stirred controversy. Several banners were seized by police, sparking heated debates about the limits of free speech. Critics argue that these actions may infringe on the democratic right to assembly, highlighting the challenges faced by authorities in interpreting and enforcing laws related to hate speech and incitement. The Berlin protests, like many others worldwide, ended with a call for immediate ceasefire in Gaza, a plea for peace. And so, as the day ended, the streets of Berlin fell silent once again, but the echoes of the protest, the calls for change, and the plea for peace continue to resonate. The global response to the situation in Palestine and Gaza is a testament to the power of the collective voice. This is a call to action, a reminder to each one of us. It's crucial to stay informed about the issue, to listen, really listen, to those directly affected. As we navigate through the noise of the media, let's critically engage with the narratives presented. It's essential to remember the importance of peaceful protest and freedom of speech, pillars of our democratic societies. So let's not just be spectators, let's be participants, stay informed, stay involved, because every voice counts in the chorus calling for peace.